hi loves welcome back to my channel this was a long awaited video a lot of people have been asking me about this set and i'm finally giving it to you guys this is the mermaid nail set that i did with the texture and as you guys know i'm going in with the same prep i always do we're just going in with the cuticle bed removing anything any cuticles on the nail bed and kind of pushing her cuticle um back a little bit as well um but you guys know how i prep usually i do the same method but i want to talk more about this set um all the items i'm going to be using will be listed down below but this set is super cute um it's a little bit different it has that nice clear jelly um, texture on top and it's super long super fun it's so cute when she brought me the idea i was like wait can i achieve this and i ended up doing it um just like the picture that she sent me and i love the way they turned out let me know what you guys think um it's actually a lot more simple than what you may think i know a lot of people were telling me like oh one of my clients wanted this look and i couldn't achieve it because the, i think the texture part of the nail is what gets people but it's super simple so keep watching if you want to learn how to do this and um i hope you guys like it
Now, after I did all my prep work, I dehydrated, I primed her nails. I'm going in with this cover pink that I get from my local nail supply store. I think um, the nail supply store makes this, this color themselves and it's like their cover pink, but it's like my absolute favorite. Um, and I'm going in and I'm creating that deep French by sculpting the base of the french into like an almond shape um, with this cover color i'm not gonna lie though this part is pretty hard especially if you are a beginner nail tech um it does take time and practice like i'm still learning how to perfect it um but i've been getting better when i first started girl it was so hard for me to do this um because i'm used to like cutting this part with like the little french cutter but i actually like this way better because you can get your smile as deep as you would like it as round as pointy however you like it but it definitely takes practice so i recommend you just keep practicing this um but i like to do it in two beads i do the first bead to scope the almond shape and then i'll go in with the cuticle bead just to make sure i get it nice and neat around the cuticle area
Now you're going to go in with your hand file and just sharpen up that free edge of the French um, or I don't even know what you would call it, the base of the French. And we're just going to sharpen it to however you like it. Some people like to make it more narrow. You can make it a little bit more narrow. But I do like this because like you can um, adjust it to how you like it. But as you can see underneath her hand, I have these like seashell glitter flakes. They're not really glitter. They're actually like kind of like a very, very thin texture of seashell. And I really like it because you can break it up to um, different sizes, whatever you would like. I'm going to link it down below. I did purchase this off Amazon and I do have gold foil as well. And I'm also going to be using and a glitter from secret nail affair which i will link down below for you guys and basically what i just did was put a little bit of clear acrylic and just put any piece that i wanted um any color whatever color combination you want to do i was just doing all colors because she wanted it um she wanted all the colors and then i just put a little bit of gold foil and then in the spaces that are kind of like empty i put the glitter um in those spaces and it's like a like cute little pink reflective glitter super cute and then you just encapsulate after and that's pretty much um that base part of the nails
Now I'm going to encapsulate the nails and I'm using this clear acrylic that I get from a local nail supply store which I'm not really a big fan of but I bought this huge tub so I have to use it all or um, I, I didn't want to waste it basically. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to be working on two fingers at a time so I'm going to lay this first bead down and kind of mold it to like uh, let it kind of fall down in the middle. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because this clear acrylic is super super runny so I want it more on the dry side so i'm just gonna let it dry on its own um and um basically put the other bead on the other nail and kind of like go back and forth i know it's kind of complicated but it's just because this clear acrylic is super runny and i want it to be kind of on the thicker side and not thin so i basically have to do this but i am on the search for a better clear acrylic um i do plan on making my own products soon so be on the lookout for that um but yeah this is what i'm just doing now
so now i'm just shaping up her nails just like perfecting that shape she wanted the tip just a little bit rounded because she didn't want to cut herself or stab anyway um with a super sharp stiletto tip and then i'm just gonna lightly go over on top just to kind of like help me smoothen out the nail um the rest will just be with my e-file um just because hand cramps girl gotta save gotta save your hands
All right, so now I'm going in with my Koopa top coat. It's a non-wipe top coat, um, one of my favorite top coats. And then once you are done with this part, you're gonna cure into the light for 60 seconds. All right, so this is the texture part. Once that top coat is nice and cured, I'm going in with my Beatles rhinestone glue with a brush and I'm just drawing on like a uh, seashell shape. So just from the tip, dragging into the inner of the um, French tip. And I'm just doing that and then I will take um, another bead and then drag it, drag it from like the free edge inward so super simple that's basically it and um if you want you can work one nail at a time and then cure but i just went ahead and did all because this uh gel is not that runny so it's not going to shift different places and i made sure i wipe underneath the nail because it does make it kind of bulky underneath and i didn't want that so i just wiped it to um kind of like keep the shape a little bit but the, yeah that's basically it and this uh rhinestone gel is um what is it a non-wipe one so once it cures it's just basically like good to go it's not sticky and yeah the design is super simple and i love it so much it was super different she always brings me like different designs to do and i love it so much These are the final results. I hope you guys like it. These mermaid texture nails. Um, if you do like this video and it was helpful to you, please leave a like, comment, share my video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications to know when I post next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!